What is going on Minties? This is the Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition. And today, join me as I do an overview of the Injustice Gods Among Us Omnibus Volume 1. So, please stay tuned. Okay, so let's check this bad boy out. This is a book that you guys talked me into buying. I know I'm usually the one that makes the videos and you guys are like, Oh, thanks a lot for making me buy this, or I didn't need this in my life, but now I gotta have it. So, what goes around comes around because this is the book that you guys were like, Omar, you gotta get it. And I'm like, of course I gotta get it because it's Tom Taylor and I love Tom Taylor. But I was never a big fan of the Injustice video game. I know, I know. It's blasphemous. I know my brothers love it. But as far as me, I was like, eh, it's okay. It's pretty much the exact same cover with the exception of the colors are gone and they just left it with this brown tone. Pretty cool. Actually, I really like the design of the dust jacket. I don't know why. It's simple, but it works. I really like the logo on the spine and in the front cover. It's like a gold cover. I, I don't know. Maybe it reminds me of those 90s variant covers. So I guess that's supposed to be gold, not brown. Excuse me. Now, let's look at it. Okay. Let's get it open. Uh, the book has 1104 pages. It is mainly written by Tom Taylor and Brian Buscellato. It is drawn by a bunch of different artists. As a matter of fact, each issue has different, or each chapter has different artists, such as the case here with Mike Miller, who draws a lot of this, Axel Jimenez, and Jerry Rapack. Another thing that's pretty interesting about this is on the back and in the front here, it just kind of tells you that it collects years one, two, and three. But that doesn't really tell you in detail here. I'm going to forward a little bit because I am going to talk. Just I think I am going to mention one thing that's a spoiler, but good Lord, this meme has been around for over three or four years. So even I knew about it coming, but I don't think it's going to uh, take away anything from the book. Uh, what, so in detail, though, this collects um, Injustice Gods Among Us 1 through 12, the Injustice Gods Among Us annual number one, and then Injustice Gods Among Us uh, digital chapters 1 through 36. Year 2 is Injustice Gods Among Us year 2, I guess. Uh, issues 1 through 12. And then that annual, number 1. And then year 3 collects. And then year 3 is Injustice Gods Among Us year 3, 1 through 12. And the annual for that year. So year three, annual number one. Now let's talk a little bit about what this is. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. And like I said, I am going to talk about just one spoiler um, that I don't think it's much of a spoiler. So just in, a heads up in case you're not a fan of spoilers and haven't read this. But I'm sure if you've been on the internet and have seen the memes, you know what's coming. So pretty much it is the story of Superman just being driven to the edge like and it's all done by joker right so joker does something with superman's loved ones I'm not gonna spoil that and it drives superman into killing joker that's it he's had enough this is not the way that you're a superhero he said he changes his ways and he makes a big speech and then he splits the superheroes and that's why they're fighting wonder woman's on his side Batman refuses to give in and refuses to kill because that's not what superheroes do. Even within the ranks of the Bat family, there are betrayals. Some join Superman's side. Some join Batman's side. And that's always fun to see. The other important thing to note is that this isn't what I consider an Elseworld tell. Uh, it does not take place in the main DC universe, so it's an alternate storyline. It's an alternate timeline. We used to have these comics back in the 80s and 90s called Elseworld and for some reason DC did away with that logo. Uh, but they're just what if comics, if you've ever read a Marvel what if, uh, you know. And, you know, we've seen this a hundred times before. We've seen an evil dictator Superman. We've seen superheroes fighting each other. We've seen Superman trying to just, instead of being this wonderful beacon of hope, he tries to take over the world. And it's based on a video game. Right? And like, this is literally based on a video game. So it has no damn business being this good. Like, I, I couldn't believe how good this is. I read year one. This came in over the weekend. And I read it in one sitting. 
I could not put it down. I was like, this is so hokey. I know where this is going. We've seen it in Kingdom Come. We've seen it in lots of other comic books. Why do I care? And it's based on a video game, but by the middle, not even the end, the middle of issue one, I was hooked. I couldn't believe how good this was. And it mainly has a lot to do with Tom Taylor because he understands the characters. He understands each of them. It's not just Superman going rogue or Superman wanting to become some, you know, big dictator and take over the world. It's more about like how each character would react to something like that happening. He has a deep understanding. As a matter of fact, he does this forward in the first issue, uh, which was originally, these were originally collected in trade paperback and also oversized hardcovers. Each year was a hardcover. So the first one that came out in 2018, uh, he had an intro talking about how much he loves Superman. And why it was so difficult for him to write this at first because he loved Superman so much. He wanted to tell a good Superman story. Let's go here through the back and look at the extra. So there's an afterword here written by Ed Boon. Uh, he's the Mortal Kombat guy. You know, Toasty, that guy. Tobias Boon. Ed Tobias Boon. Noob Sabot, anybody? Any Mortal Kombat players out there? Anyway, that's who did the video game, right? And... Yeah, it was so good. You guys were absolutely right. I, If the rest of this omnibus is as good as the first third, then I'm going to read this in one day because it is freaking phenomenal. I couldn't put it down. I'm glad that I stuck by it. Uh, here's all the extras. I'm sorry, there's a proposal. I, I keep talking about the stupid story. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And it's not stupid. It's wonderful. Um, there was the proposal for the main uh, story. Uh, layouts, page layouts, which you all know how much I love that. So this is all the extras, no colors, and character designs here, because they do look a little bit different, some of the characters, even though we're familiar with them, their outfits look a little bit different. And let's see here. Uh, here is the pretty much the biography of where you can find all these wonderful creators here. Brian Bucciolato, Marjorie Bennett, Wes Abot, Tom Taylor, Ray Fox, and then of course the artists back here. Mainly, like I said, Mike S. Miller, um, but there are other names I knew on here, like Bruno Redondo, uh, Tom Derenick, uh <sighs> Pete Woods, just to name a few. Just look at how wonderful this art is. Um, now, let's talk about the binding, because I'm sure when I was flipping through here, you noticed that uh, the pages were starting to close. The closer I got, I don't want to spoil anything, so I'll use this as an example, as I got to the end and I had to hold it down. Same thing as the beginning. Towards the beginning, I had to hold it down. Uh, gutter loss. I mean, you could probably tell when I was flipping through here, there is a little bit of gutter loss, um, especially when there's uh, splash pages. Got to be careful not to ruin anything here, but not not that not as bad as the Snyder uh, Capullo omnibus, believe it or not. Uh, it is sewn binding, but there's the eye. It's not as flat. Like I said, it's the Snyder Capullo omnibus. Um, it is sewn binding, but it also has this glue here. And I think that's what's weighing it down because they want to reinforce it to make sure it doesn't, you know, the pages don't come off the ribbon. And I think when they do that, they overdid it a bit. So it, that's what keeps the book, you know, from opening the way that it should be opening up. It's not as bad as I've seen some, but I can, I, it is something that I have to mention because it does get on some readers' nerves. I'm trying to find a splash page, but honestly, I guess they don't draw comics the way they used to. There's not really that many splash pages in here. I'm just mainly using the panels with the word bubbles. Um, so, you, you know, you have to push it a little bit to read some of the word bubbles. To me, not that tragic, but that's just my opinion. And that was the contents, the binding, and everything you, I hope you needed to know about this omnibus. And let me know if you want an omnibus volume 2, because I know I do. Just from the first third of this book, I fell in love with it, and I want more. And I know there's enough for a second omnibus, because the story's not over. Let me know in the comments down below if I can answer any more questions. Whether you're still on the fence, or whether you just pulled the trigger, or whether you're like, nah, not for me. I'm not a big fan of Elseworld. So, I would love to know those comments down below. Again, thank you very much for joining us. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com. 
your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. Cheap Graphic Novels Black Friday sale is continuing all through December, so there's still time to save up to 95% off thousands of books. Additional books will be added throughout the month, so be sure to check back often and stay tuned to CGN on social media to be the first to know when the new books have been added to the sale. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. Please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button. We are also on Patreon if you want to join our Patreon and become our patron. That would be so awesome. And the details of that are all in the description. And more importantly, remember, if it's classy and cool, it must be near mint.